No. All right, before we get started on this, um, for any of this to work, your projector has to be on. And for those of you who are used to the old front row systems that had the box on the side or the wall back over there by your document camera, um, the best bet for doing volume on these projectors is to use the remote. There's a volume up and volume down button here. And you can also control the volume through your computer. But if you do volume up and volume down on the projector, there is a volume control directly on the projector that you can use the projector remote for. With that being said, on to the rest of the video. All right, so the first thing you gotta make sure you do is you gotta make sure you have everything plugged in right. The cords are already plugged into the wall. You shouldn't have to mess with those. So the only thing you need to do is make sure that this cord is plugged in and it either will be on a dongle like this or it might be a little bit bigger like this. But whichever one, it'll have that end on it. And that plugs in right here. And then you'll probably wanna also plug this one in. If you follow this around, it goes around to the back of the document camera over here. You're also going to want to have the document camera on most of the time because you're probably going to be using it for various things during the course of the day. So once you've got everything plugged into the laptop, it's time to go into your Teams meeting. Once you have the cords plugged in, um, there's three things you need to make sure that you do in your Teams meeting and on your computer to make sure the kids can hear you from home and also in the classroom on the classroom speakers. Uh, the first thing you can actually do before you start the meeting, down here at the bottom, there's the icon for the speakers and you, it's the one you click when you wanna turn the volume up and down. The other thing you can do here is where mine says speakers, you need to hit there and make sure it says Epson. If it doesn't say Epson, um, it's not gonna work in the classroom. So you wanna switch it to Epson, that's the first thing. Once, once you're in the meeting, Click on the three dots up here and go to device settings. Under device settings, you also want to make sure it says Epson. Then if you're going to be sharing your screen, when you go to share your screen, you want to make sure that it says include computer sound. That way when you're playing a video or you're doing some activity on your screen, the kids at home that you're sharing your screen to will hear your computer sounds. So those are the three things you want to do um, to make sure that the kids in your classroom can hear what's going on your computer over the speakers and also the kids who were watching at home can hear what's going on over your speakers.